Good morning, my friends, and thank you for joining. There's an expression that rather than tell God how great your problems are, tell your problems how great God is. The Jewish people today face many great challenges, but we have to remember the power of prayer, that we pray and we have the ability to receive God's tremendous blessings, to see miracles. The survival of our people throughout the generations has been a miracle, and today we also need many miracles for the hostages, for the land of Israel, for the people, for Jewish people around the world, we need great miracles. In the Torah reading this week, we read about Isaac and Rebekah and the fact that like Abraham and Sarah, they are also barren for many, many years. And it is only through the power of prayer that they are blessed with children. This is the Torah's teaching about the survival of the Jewish people. We are a people that need miracles, we are people that need the blessings from God, and we elicit those blessings through the power of prayer. In, later in the reading, when Jacob is dressed and disguised as Esau, and Isaac it comes to, and he comes to greet his father Isaac, Isaac feels him, and he feels like Esau, but he hears his voice, and he says, the hands are the hands of Esau, but the voice is the voice of Jacob. And our sages have always understood that to be a reference to the fact that the power of the Jewish people isn't necessarily just in our hands. It's through our voices. It's through our prayers. Today, every soldier in the Israeli army, when they ask for us to help, what they are asking for is our blessings, our prayers. That is the most important thing we can do. So every single day, take a few moments and pray. Pray for our people. Pray for the Israeli soldiers, pray for the hostages, and pray for the whole world. Thank you for joining, and Shabbat Shalom.